Muscle memory. You might have heard that term thrown around before. What is muscle memory? I can tell you, I have seen uh, a number of individuals over the years, including myself, put on an unbelievable amount of lean tissue and strength in a very short period of time when they have resumed training after a break. Now, this is for a previously trained individual. So let's say you have a base of resistance training and you've built a good amount of lean tissue. We've even built some lean tissue. You've increased your strength. And for whatever reason, you've had a break. I've had a break a few times with my training over the years for a couple of months through um, injury, illness, and a couple of life events. I've had three breaks and they've been probably about six to six to 10 weeks, not too bad over about 26, 27 years of training. Every time I have got back into training, I have been absolutely blown away by the body's ability to increase lean muscle mass and increase strength by a ridiculous margin in a very, very short period of time. And I've been very lucky to help many, many people when they've got back into their training after a break do the same. So the muscle memory response, it is real. It's not some myth that you hear just down at the gym and people are talking about the muscle memory response and it's all just a load of BS. It is real. There's a few components to muscle memory that, that I consider to be the most important components. Now, there are some uh, other mechanisms at play here, but these are the big three in my mind. So you're a previously trained individual. You've taken a break from the gym. Maybe you've lost a few kilos of lean tissue. Maybe your strength has gone downhill. When you reapply the training stimulus, you can increase your lean muscle mass and your strength at an unbelievable rate. It's it's unbelievable. It has been, um, I have heard that it has been compared to someone who's running some PED, some performance enhancing drugs. The muscle memory response can almost resemble that because of this unbelievable ability to increase lean muscle and strength. So let's get into it. So when you do train with resistance, Distance training for a regular period and you start to increase your lean muscle mass, your muscle cells undergo permanent changes. Now, without going too far into it, long story short, the, the nucleus of the muscle cell, the muscle cells have a myonuclei ability, which means it has the ability for multiple nuclei. The nuclei is where the genetic um, component of the cell is housed or the genetic material. And if you have increased nuclei of the muscle cells, myonuclei, then what you see when you reapply the training stimulus is you see a massive increase in muscle protein synthesis. Muscle protein synthesis is essentially related to building new muscle proteins. And you see this massive spike because your muscle cells have undergone changes that are thought to be permanent. And when you reapply the training stimulus, you see a massive increase in muscle protein synthesis very, very quickly. Uh, for one of my muscle memory responses, and I'm not lying here, I put on close to 12 kilos of lean muscle mass in about three months. Same waist measurement. My waist measurement didn't change. And I put on about 12 kilos of lean muscle mass, which is, it's unbelievable. You think it's that can't be true. It's not true at all. I promise you it is. So on the uh, when you reapply the training stimulus, big increase in muscle protein synthesis due to the changes that have occurred to your muscle cells that are thought to potentially be permanent. At the very least, they hang around for a long period of time. We're talking years. Next up, we have your ability to increase your strength very, very quickly. So training with weights and, and doing resistance training, it's a physical skill. You mightn't think so, but it's a physical skill, just like throwing a ball or riding a bike. If you stop throwing the ball or you stop riding the bike for a period of time, you may not be as good at doing those activities anymore, but you don't forget how to do it. And so if you've had a break from uh, resistance training, you've had a break from the gym, when you reapply the training stimulus again, you see a very, very quick increase in your strength. And that is because of those neurological pathways, the brain talking to the muscles to fire off for a particular movement pattern and generate a large amount of force, those neural pathways come back online very, very quickly. And that probably the quickest out of the whole muscle memory response, you see that quick increase in strength before you see a quick increase in lean tissue. Now you want to be careful with that quick increase in strength because the muscle bellies can generate a lot of force, but maybe some of the, the slower or the weaker links in the chain, like the, say, your tendons. Your tendons don't have the same ability to recover from the training in a short period of time. And if you push it too hard too soon, those tendons can get inflamed. And one of the last things you want is some sort of tendonitis. And, you know, common areas of tendonitis when it comes to resistance training, elbow from pressing, shoulder from pressing, or too many, too many pressing movements and not enough external rotation or, or back work. 
and also uh, patella tendonitis through the knee. So you just want to be mindful because you can get very strong very quickly, but the tendons may take some time to catch up due to the poor blood supply of the tendons in comparison to the muscle bellies. Finally, we have that, that quick increase in muscle volume due to the increase in muscle glycogen stores. Muscle glycogen, that readily available uh, form of energy that's easily utilized for resistance training. It allows you to keep doing work in the session. For every one gram of muscle glycogen, you hold another three to maybe four grams of water inside the muscle cell. It gives you that really full hard look. And so when you get back into some resistance training after a break, you can see your body weight go up by a kilo or two in the first week very, very quickly. And that is in part due to that quick increase in muscle glycogen. It's that energy, once again, that's easily utilized and readily available for your resistance training. And it also holds three or four grams of water inside the muscle cells. So we put all that together and we can see this muscle memory response. There's, there's um, a few different mechanisms at play, a few I haven't mentioned, but these are the big ones that I, I really uh, have found to be uh, the most important and also the most dramatic. A very quick increase in muscle protein synthesis due to um, your muscle cells undergoing changes due to your previous training history. A quick increase in your neural drive, your strength, the brain talking to the muscles to fire off for a particular movement pattern and generate a lot of force. And then also that quick increase in muscle glycogen and the resulting three or four grams of water of uh, that's held for every one gram of muscle glycogen. So you put all that together, it is the muscle memory response. It's real. It is freaky. It is absolutely freaky to see the muscle memory response in play because you can increase your lean muscle mass and strength at a phenomenal rate. Just make sure you're being aware of any injuries and also you're eating an appropriate amount of calories to fuel the muscle memory response. There you go, Muscle Memory 101. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. It's going to help it grow. And I'll talk to you 